Oh my god. Well, it's an exciting time to be a geek, isn't it, guys? Back again with um, something a bit different this time instead of talking about football. Um, the Captain America Civil War trailer has just literally um, been premiered this morning. Um, or been released this morning, should I say. And holy shit, it looks incredible. The main reason I was interested in seeing this movie was because to see the aspect of Captain America versus Tony Stark, both of whom represent different sides of the argument about whether Captain America is good for society or not. And it's made even more interesting for me by the fact that Tony and Captain America were also once part of the Avengers. So obviously we've had two feature films about it. Um, I'm not going to lie, before this, I have never been a big fan of the Captain America franchise. I felt that the first one... The Winter Soldier... No, not The Winter Soldier. God, the second one. Getting confused already. Um, the first Avenger. I felt that that one was made purely to set up the Avengers. It was There wasn't really any other reason for it to be made. Um, I liked it as a movie on its own. As a movie on its own, it, it, it's a, mm, it doesn't really do very much for me. Um, Chris Evans, I like his Captain America. I think he does a very good job of it. It's just that I think the character's difficult to sell. Um, whereas I think a lot of my favourite out of all the Avengers characters is Iron Man. Um... I'll come back onto that in a minute. Um, and then the Winter Soldier, I felt, was much, much better. I felt it had its own original story. I felt it was it was more suspenseful. It still didn't do massive wonders for me. Um, because, again, I've just never been a big fan of Captain America as a solo film. Kind of similar attitude to what I've got about Thor, to be quite honest. Um, I didn't feel that Thor was interesting enough to have his own standalone movie. But then I liked Thor The Dark World, having not liked the first one that much. Now this one, because Iron Man's in this one, and because of the, of the context of why he's in this one, that's what's made me interested and excited for this one. Having I've watched the trailer quite a few times, I've just literally watched it now again, having prior to making this video, and I am excited for it. I'm not gonna lie, but the problem is we always gotta wait till fucking April. Come on, I want to get it now. <laughs> um, but fair enough, that's what the trailer's supposed to do. Um. The story of this one, if I can try and sum it up in any way that doesn't sound stupid, is Captain America is, is well, obviously, he's a modern super, he's, well, sort of like the superhero from the World War II era, but in the modern world of today. And there's a few, and there's a debate about whether he's good for society or not, because um, some people say that he's a hero. Some of them have been saying that they had no limitations and unlimited, no, is it next to no limitations and unlimited power, whatever it was. And obviously there's going to be debates about whether that's good for society or not. And Tony then sides with the government who feels that all superheroes need to form as one. I can't quite remember what the plot of that is. I know I was told about it. Um, what the idea behind that was. Sorry, But anyway, basically long story short, Captain America and, and Iron Man end up on opposing sides. Now given what we've seen before, there has been potential there for tension between these two characters. We've had it in the first Avengers film. Not quite as much in the second um, but I felt that was one of the many shortcomings of Age of Ultron. I felt that there was a lot of potential that film had that it didn't really fulfil very much. Um, well, as far as this one goes, I really love the idea of it. Um, and having just seen the trailer... Sorry, I know I'm looking at the screen a lot. Having just seen the trailer, the end shot where um, Captain America and Bucky are fighting against Iron Man. Oh, my God. Honestly, and that line, obviously, that you heard at the start of the video... Sorry, Tony, you know I wouldn't do this if I had any other choice, but he's my friend. So was I. Oh, No, no, that's not right. Um, we'll have to wait and see what happens with this movie, though. Um, I just can't wait for April, to be honest. It's the most excited I've ever been. It's the most excited by far I've been for a Captain America film. The previous two, well, the previous two, I was like, oh, mild interest. Let's see what it's like. And then this one, I'm looking forward to it now. And I think... Chris Evans has really grown into the role of Captain America. He's made it his own. And I like the fact that he's done that. So we'll have to wait and see where that goes. On another note, and I'm moving on to a slightly different topic, just quickly, this is maybe a Harry Potter shirt. Uh, for those of you who don't know on YouTube, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, always will be. Um, loved all the movies, loved all the books. So this is Sirius Black from Prisoner of Azkaban. Hang on. Can't even see this damn thing. Hang on. Stop falling down, man, damn it. Well, it's meant to say, have you seen this wizard? So it's uh, it might come lops might come about lopsided or reversed. But having said that, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, on a different note, um, last night I saw the Hunger Games Mocking Jay Part Two, um, and I really like the Hunger Games movies. Um, the first one I wasn't the biggest fan of, but that's usually because I like sequels 
in stories because the first instalment of something <coughs> <coughs> in the first instalment of a series you've got to establish characters motivations conflicts and and whatnot you've got to establish the whole story basically whereas when you get to the sequels you probably have to reintroduce the characters for like five ten minutes at max and then get on with the story but i like the first one the concept was very interesting um obviously it's based on Suzanne Collins' novels but prior to that if I've got the author's name right but I'm pretty sure I have. Check me up on that in the comments. If I've got it wrong, tell me. Um, first one I really liked. Second one, Catching Fire um, was my favourite prior to See You Marking J Part 2. Um, I think it's absolutely brilliant. I think the politics of it is very interesting. I think that the the wider picture of Katniss and Peter both having two survivors of the, hunger, the 74th Hunger Games, I think that was a very interesting concept to have. Um, the Call of Quell I felt was a little bit similar to what we'd seen before, but it was it was different because it was it was more uh, literally it was more of a game by the Capitol to directly get a Katniss, and I thought that was very clever. So Suzanne Collins, I suppose, takes credit for that. Um, and then Mockingjay Part One I really liked, but you always get those. Oh, it doesn't need to be too polite, it's boring. No, it's not. It's actually very interesting what happens. You know, same with Harry Potter. Death Isles Part One is my favorite film of the whole series. Anyway, on the Hunger Games again, though. You know, really like Mockingjay Part 1. Now, having just seen Mockingjay Part 2 last night, um, or whenever you're watching this video, I saw it on the pre Tuesday just gone, Tuesday 24th of November, I think it is. Um, and I've digested it. I've had some time to think about it. I liked it. I still think Catching Fire is my favourite one, though. It didn't do as much as I would have wanted it to have done. I think, that, and this, again, might be down to how the novel ended. I don't know. So I can't really fault the filmmakers too much for it. But I think... The last third of the film could have been a little bit more climactic than what it ended up being. I think I was a little disappointed in that aspect, but I do like the way. But there was morality in this. Um, I'm not. I'm, I'm trying to think of a way to explain it without giving plot points away. Let's just say there's near towards the end of the film. There's kind of like a meeting between a lot of principal characters about the Hunger Games, and I think. There's a debate about whether these should be allowed to continue or not. Obviously, I'm not trying to give anything away about who dies, what happens in the story, but um, there was morality there. The morality of whether or not the Hunger Games should continue, that impressed the hell out of me. That was really, really impressive. I was very interested to see that. Um, you know, And I think, but gen generally though, I still really liked the movie. And the movie was suspenseful as well. I mean, it was definitely the... I think Francis Lawrence said it was the most violent out of the Hunger Games movies that he'd made. And, of course, he's going to say that. I don't know. I think Catching Fire was still pretty damn violent from what I saw. But I think that's still slightly more violent than Mockingjay Part 2. But that's a subjective opinion. You guys might have a different opinion to me on that. But generally, though, I really like Mockingjay Part 2. Um, Jennifer Lawrence, um, as ever, has been very good as Katniss Everdeen. Um, Josh Hutcherson really has come a long way as Peter Malark. And I think that's probably down to the fact the character comes a long way as well. I think Josh Hutcherson really shows that. Um, across these movies general and the direction's very good the pacing's very good the acting generally from everybody there's not one person who does a bad job at acting so look i'm very impressed with what mockingjay part two did um i can say i think the only gripe i had is that it should have been slightly more climactic but i am happy with the way the series ended um let's just hope then now just wait for another 10 years time until they get a remake that's probably what's going to end up happening Anyway, guys, look, that's just that. Um, that's that's what's like my first non-footballing video to talk about. Um, so, to any of my subscribers, share this to anyone you know who's a Hunger Games fan or a Marvel fan. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, subscribe, like I always ask, and I'll see you next time. I think it'll probably be in relation to the Stoke game next week. Let's see what happens there. See you guys.